Hey guys, here I am back out of the hangar, and right now in the background you can see I am working on closing out some of the areas over by the baggage door. Uh, just the same thing you've seen a million times before. Drilling, match drilling, countersinking what needs to be countersunk, putting on some uh, nut plates in a couple places and just getting everything put in place. Not hard. Um, the uh, one thing I wanted to share with you is uh, this beauty. So this is the plane I purchased. So I talked about buying an airplane that I could fly while I'm building this so I can get some time and be able to get up in the air. Uh, so looking forward to that. Asked you guys if you want to see the uh, see me flying that on this channel. And overwhelmingly, I think most of you said you wouldn't mind seeing it, but put it in another put it in another like playlist so it doesn't interfere. Don't, you know, I may or may not intermix, we'll see. But anyways, I just wanted to show you that. So this is the exterior and now this is the interior and you can see it's from 1969, but who cares? It flies, it work, does It does great. We, we flew it from uh, over in Tennessee, over here is a little, about just shy of two hours, you know, total fly time and it was, it was great. It was, it was fun. So I, I my landing was terrible, but, uh, <laughs> practice. That's why I bought the damn thing. But anyways, so with that, uh, I'm going to keep working on the plane. Um, and here you see me start working on the putting the floor plates in and I'm going to have lots of conversation on that. I'm going to talk to it here and maybe even some cursing. I'll bleep it out. Jeez. Okay. How do I get that in there? Is this the right one? If I line that up, do those all line up? Yeah, that's definitely that was out. Can't go in that way. Holy cow. <laughs> really? Okay. Hmm. So I don't like forcing things. Um, so here I am working on the foot pan for the rear seats. Um, there's two of them on either side. They are slightly different, just basically where the holes are and where, well, they're, they're different. And you're supposed to put these down in there, do all the final drills, and then take them back out and put a row of nut plates on. And I may do that backwards. I may put the nut plates on now and then put it down in there, final drill everything, and just leave it in there uh, and put um, the uh, rivets in there because they're all pull rivets. I'll have to see if they're supposed to be uh, dimpled or not. The reason for that being is because I can't get this in here. And if I do get it in here, I'm going to force it in, and then I'm not going to be able to get it out. So my concern there is trying to get it in and out multiple times. I might as well just put it in and leave it in. So, yeah, this is a little tight. Uh, and I don't know why it's so tight, but it just is. So let's see if we can figure out what, what needs to be dimpled or not, uh, and then just put this thing in here in one go. I hate doing it this way, but uh, it'll be okay. <sighs> I just wish I knew why I was so tight. Both of them are, it's weird. All right, let's see here. Do, 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 do. So first of all, let's decide how we are to rivet this sucker down. These are riveted down. Is that that one? No, that's, that's in there. Um, let's see. Okay, it even says force the footwell ribs apart. Insert them. And then we're going to 
gonna put these in. Floor plan nut plate installation, so I'll do that. These are gonna be installed with 420. Okay, so these are gonna need to be dimpled for the for those, for the nut plates. And then let's see, all of the CS4 dash fours. So that's these. So these do all need to be dimpled. So all of these need to be dimpled on the floor. And all of these are not. These are not dimpled. These are LP43s, which are the. Okay. All right. Okay, I have a plan of attack. Basically, what I got to do is I got to go through and dimple. Basically, everything that's on the floor plan itself needs to be dimpled. You know, the nut plates will need to be enlarged and dimpled for nut plates. The nut plates themselves will need to be dimpled. The 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 wings, the nut plate, the type of nut plate uh, that goes in here is the one that, that has the dimple already. And then all of these here on the floor will be dimpled, but then these on, on the flanges will not be. And then hopefully I can force this thing down in there and it will fit and I won't have to pull it back out again. So, yeah. That means I've also got to dimple all the ones that are in the plane. So I got to go through and do those too. That's going to suck. <laughs> Um, now, real quick, are we dimpling or are we machine countersinking? Let's see. No, it even says dimple all the rivet holes in the bottom face of the floor plan. So yeah, we're dimpling, we're not machine countersinking. Sometimes you'll machine countersink like one thing and then the other thing, you leave it straight so that it just kind of all links up nicely. In this case, we're dimpling and then dimpling. So each, each part's a little different, read the instructions. So, all right, time to work on it. All right, I've dimpled everything. I've got the nut plates on, on this one. This one goes over here. That one obviously I have not done yet. So now I've got to get this sucker in here and I'm worried I'm gonna have to force it because it, it doesn't want to move. Urgh. Pinched me. Golly. All right. Well. Oh, there's no doing this. Okay. Now all I've done is bent this fucking thing. God dog it. <sighs> okay, this doesn't fit. This is super tight and I don't know why. Now I gotta unbend this and try to figure out why this is not fitting correctly. Mm. So with that, it's back to the drawing board. I had to go back and look at the instructions and try to figure out, what, did I do something wrong back, you know, way back when or what? Why doesn't this part fit? And ultimately it comes down to a couple things. The primary one is these seat brackets that you can see here. There's one on either side and the notches that are cut in the floor plan were not quite big enough. I had to, cut uh, probably about a millimeter off each side, which I know doesn't sound like much, but I had to cut about a millimeter off on each side to get them to fit down in there. And even then, it was pretty tight. The next thing I had to do in order to get this thing in there is be able to kind of fold it ever so slightly. The trick was cutting this notch in the very back. Uh, this notch is gonna be hidden under another piece of metal, so you'll never see it. Uh, cutting this notch, just this kind of V shape, allowed me to kind of taco the pan just ever so slightly, I mean, not, not much at all, to get it down in there and then get it in place. And then 
once I did, I was able to begin the process of clecoing everything down, getting everything lined up, and starting to put in the rivets. Eventually, I was able to get everything in place and push down to where it was supposed to be. Uh, if anything, I ended up pushing down one side of it a little too far. You can see here that you can't see the holes through that. It's because this side is actually a little too far down. Uh, thankfully, I just used um, a Clico, kind of put the Clico in the hole that you can't see, which is on the plan, and just kind of pulled up a little and it lifted back up so I could get uh, Clicos in. The next thing I did is I went through and I riveted everything together. And the one mistake I made is, and I'm not even a mistake, I don't even want to call it a mistake, but just a choice. On either side of uh, the, the uh, plane, the outside most pan portion, uh, that flange, I used pop rivets instead of uh, full aluminum rivets because it was just a pain in the ass to try to get my hand down in there. I just couldn't manage it and I didn't want to fight with it and there's just no reason for that to not be pop rivets as opposed to the regular rivets. Um, this is not a structural piece of metal or anything like that so I just didn't, didn't think it was a big deal. So. That's what I did there. And I did it on, you know, both sides. Uh, this is me doing the other side. Uh, it took a long time because there's just a lot. And there's a lot of me sitting around thinking, gosh, I'd rather be doing something else. Uh, you can see I added the middle metal pieces, the tunnel pieces in there just for funsies, just to see what all the other bits of metal, where they go and, you know, tolerances and all that. Uh, I have been slowly pulling the other pieces of metal and putting them in there just to see where everything goes to get some idea because because I'm rapidly approaching the point where I've got to start thinking about where I'm going to put, you know, wires and where I'm going to put headphone jacks and where I'm going to put, you know, switches and other things. And so there's a lot of just going through and thinking about the future and what things are going to look like and where I have to put stuff. And so, yeah, we're rapidly getting to the point where everything has to be done now. To that end, that's where I'm gonna end this one. Thank you guys so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, hit that like and subscribe button, and if you wanna help me out, jump over to my Patreon page, and for as little as a dollar a month, you guys can help me, uh, help me build this thing. So in the next video, by the way, as you can see in the background, I'm gonna be working on a wing. I've decided I need to get off my lazy butt and finish, finish closing out that one wing and uh, get the the servo for the other one so I can close it out and do the tanks and all that, but I've got to cut the hole for the heated pedo tube, which is, uh, that's going to be fun. Get that all lined up and then hang the skin and do all the rivets. So that's what we're going to do in the next video. See you then guys.